All right, now on to the easy. Okay, I don't see any box. No, no, there are no boxes with six digits. This is going to be a little bit more work than the usual easies. But one to nine has to appear in every row, and in every column, and in every three by three box. So I have two threes here. There must be a three in the bottom of row three, in one of two places. But the six can be placed right there. This and this force the top, and that's the only space that's left. There's a nine, and there's a nine. That forces a nine in the bottom of row three, which are down here. Well, that tells me there's a 3-9 pair in this box. That means these two cells are not 1, 5, 6, 7, 8 already placed, or either 3 or 9, because I know where they must go. So these are 2 and 4. And this can't be 2, so these are actually right ends. Okay, there's a two and there's a two. Two must go on the top of box two, right there. Okay, what's left in row one is a four and a five. And thanks to the given four down here, I know where they go. Box one is left with one and seven. This can't be seven. This row is just missing an eight. Box two is missing four, five, and seven. This can't be four. Well, these two can't be seven, so these are a four, seven pair, and that means this is five. That's a slightly more straightforward way of looking at it. Okay, these two are a 4-7 pair. But we don't know which way around they go just yet. Column 6 is just missing a 7 and a 9. Thanks to the these givens, we know where they go. That's 7, that's 9. Still doesn't help with either pair left in row three, but oh well. Let's see, there's a six and there's a six. I need a six on the left in box nine, and it has to go there. There must be an eight in box nine, but considering it could be in one of three places, that doesn't help me much. See, there are one, two, three, four, five digits placed here. Therefore, the remaining four digits are one, three, five, and eight. No, eight's already there. One, three, five, and six. Well, this can't be five or six. This is one or three. This one can't be five, but could be anything else. One, three, five, six. Well, this can't be three, five, or six. This is one. Which tells me that's three. Because it can't be anything else. This can't be one or three, so therefore that must be six, and that must be five. Okay, column one just needs a one. Column two needs six and eight. This can't be six. Column three 
There's a two and a four. These are placed thanks to these two givens. Let's see, these three digits are seven, eight, nine. This can't be nine, so this is seven or eight. This is seven or nine. And well, actually, it can't be nine. So that one is seven, which tells me that that's eight, and therefore that must be nine. <clears throat> well, let's see. Row seven only has two digits left. It's missing a one and an eight, and this can't be eight. So the eight goes there, which means it's not here. Oh, this nine looks up there. That's three. That's nine. Column eight is just missing one digit. It needs a five. Column nine needs three, four, five. This can't be three or five. It must be four. And it's also the only digit left in box nine. So these are a three, five pair. This is not five. box is just missing a two. The seven's been looking up here for ages. The column just needs a nine. I know there's just three digits left. This row needs two and four. Thanks to this two, I know where they go. This row needs one and three. Thanks to this one, I know where they where that goes. Okay, this column needs a four. This column needs a nine. 